Arcadiana is Ollie Bear. Welcome back. It's 541. It's Valentine's Day and it's almost Mardi Gras. The two days can kind of meld together. Yeah, we see this a lot. Al A. Bear, uh, he's changing his Mardi Gras gear, mask rather, for hard eyes this morning. He's with Stacey Dempsey, friend of the show, Frosted Apron. What are you guys making? Hey, you know, we are at the Frosted Apron. Stacy Dempsey, we're in New Iberia. Okay, you're going to transform these bananas into something really good. Stacy. Yes. what are we going to do? Okay, so all you do is slice a banana. You don't want to have the banana, like, overly ripe because it'll turn into mush. So just if you have any brown spots on your banana, you might not want to use that one. Good point. Um, that's a good tip. Um, all you do is slice it up like this into little slices of bananas and then it's three tablespoons of granulated sugar two teaspoons of the pumpkin pie spice oh nice you can use cinnamon but i just think that the pumpkin pie spice is so much better it gives it, it that gets, extra kick it feels like a holiday yes okay exactly that's what i like so, i like holiday spices yes and so you just mix this up like that and then clean hands, you know, before we cook or bake, we just put our bananas in that mixture. Wow, that's almost too simple. And you just go around, get it all covered up nice. It smells so good. It does. And, you know, I'm almost thinking. We didn't even, we didn't even put them on I the I know, I know. I'm thinking, yet. you know, they would be good just like this. So I, I sprayed a little Pam on my uh, skillet. Have it on medium heat and all you're going to do is put it on here and you're going to let it cook for like two to three minutes and then we're going to flip them and cook that side for two to three minutes and if some of the sugar and cinnamon or pumpkin pie spice comes off of it you can always just add a little bit more because you want it yeah. to have that crunchiness on the outside and these would be perfect to put on top of ice cream and i mean we we have some ice cream with it on top already yes i love this idea yes. because you know we we i mean cherries that always goes on ice cream never think about putting a banana on there but you know one of the things i love about what you do is we take something ordinary mm -hmm. like a banana of course bananas are delicious yes and you take them to extraordinary Another level. Yeah, yeah exactly so like a banana foster i mean if you're thinking of the caramel and the banana and the pumpkin pie spice and the sugar i mean you could all just add pecans and there you go you have a banana foster i love that this is so fun and then you know for mardi gras for the kids like you can add the granulated purple and gold sprinkles oh nice for the Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras ice cream. Again, this is How something easy is you can do at home, do with the kids. Yes. It's a lot of fun. Yes. And you can put oh. this, we're doing a king cake later, so you could actually put this, hey, these I, bananas on the king cake. I love that. I got to try this before we go. Tell me how you like it. Mmm. A twist of banana split. <laughs> so good. Really good. <laughs> Nothing like ice cream at 545 <laughs> in the morning. I tell you what. Yeah. <laughs> That'll get you going. Thank you. Al. It's the best. <laughs> Breakfast of champs.